Wagwan Viers and Subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna be treating rust. This is some dangerous stuff to have on your car because it's going to continue to eat and eat your metal until there's nothing left, until you start having holes in it, and then you're gonna have to cut out sections of it to weld new pieces in there. So today what we're gonna be using is some vinegar, um, wire brush, it can spin on a drill, another wire brush that you use manually, a grinder, make sure you have your respirator, some safety glasses, and now we're good to go. Um, I'm going to grind this out as much as I can before I use this, so basically have the vinegar um, do less work. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I was completely ignorant to certain information when it comes to using vinegar to treat rust. In this rusty situation, the vinegar will not eat away all the rust. However, vinegar can be quite helpful. For example, if you submerge a bunch of rusty tools in a container filled with vinegar, it'll definitely help. But in this situation, obviously, the car will get in submerged into you no know, vinegar. However, I have something good that I heard about and did some research on that works excellent when it comes to rust. But let's first grind away as much as we can. Uh, as you guys can see here, I was able to get a good amount of rust um, completely off of this area. And now I'm going to have to use the brushes to get into these grooves because the grinder cannot get into these little grooves. Alright, so now you guys can see that I managed to get majority of the rust out of it with the grinder and the wire brush on my drill. Now, all I have to do is guys, I need something strong to soak into here. Anything acidic, acid itself, anything acidic is good for rust, but depending on the rust, different products might work different. I'm going to use some rust penetrant freeze rusted parts displaces moisture and protects against rust and corrosion so now that we got the rust out we got to clean it up and protect it from further rust let that sit there for a couple minutes after five to ten minutes Go ahead and give it another clean. Uh, you can clean as you apply more. So entirely up to you. Now the other thing is guys, if you can see in the seam sealer, the rust gave it a discoloration so what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm going to have to um clean out the seam sealer or grind it out as much as possible and reapply new seam sealer Now guys, I gotta be honest with you. While this might have cleaned up a lot with the wire brush, the grinder, it's still not good enough. 
there is still rust in here that needs to go away or else it's gonna come back now what I'm going to do now have you ever heard of Ospho? This is called Ospho. And this is supposedly stop rust, prepare rust surfaces for paint. And it is safe to use for the environment. It, the list goes on and on. You can use this on about anything that is corroded with rust. As for the directions to use it, all it asks you to do is merely clean the surface from grease, you know, and wax, and then use a wire brush to merely clean the surrounding area with the rust. It doesn't ask you to go crazy because it's supposed to do all the work. So we're gonna test it out and see for ourselves. All you need is you need a paintbrush or any brush you can find to brush it on there. So I'm just gonna put a little bit in this plastic cup here. Just dip it in here. Now the only thing that this warn you not to do is use it on concrete and stuff like that because it will bleach it out. In a quick summary, this is how the asphalt work. It causes the iron oxide, which is the rust, to chemically change to iron phosphate. It creates a layer of zinc phosphate that protects and treats the metal from further rust. All the information is on the bottle, guys. You won't need to do extra research. Just don't use it in your garage. It will bleach out your garage. All right, guys, this is what the asphalt did to the rust. Now. With me seeing this, I can say 100% that asphalt is the real deal. Like, it ate the rust away completely, it turned it black. So all you have to do now is clean up this area and make sure you clean it with wax and grease remover and then you can prime it. To be honest, you don't even have to prime it. You can just paint right over it because asphalt is that good. Now, as I said, guys, you can paint right over this, but to be safe, I like to be safe, I will actually prime this and then put some paint on it. And as far as the reviews and people who I know who use asphalt, they have never seen that rust again. Now guys, the more rust you have, the more coats of the asphalt you will have to use to get the best result. It's not gonna work the same as it does on a thin or slight amount of rust. If the rust is really bad, then you're gonna need more, more applications. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, class dismissed.